were sitting there, you know, selling our stuff from Hastings, we'd be like, I was like, Christian, there's one. So we'd like make a little tally. By the end of it, we had like 20 of each. And then he started taking there tallies of Link. was a really good Deadpool, or not Deadpool, sorry, um, Harley Quinn. Like, it was obviously the Suicide Squad. The movie one? But it was really, like, professionally done. It looked really good. I mean, you can buy all her merchandise. Like, everything. Oh, yeah. Well, this one was so handmade. Like, she handmade all of it. Really? And she, like, looked over at this girl dressed as, like, a cheerleader Harley that was super slutty. And she's like, I love your Harley. And the other girl that's the cheerleader turns around and looks at her and, like, gives her this really bitchy look. And it's like, really? You took, like, two minutes to make that costume. She spent, like, $600. <laughs> like, oh, well. Handmade everything. Hmm. Well, the head, that the would big, have been fun. It was an animated series, Harley, with the big hammer, and it said your face here on one side. That's so if we go really next year, cool. I want to dress up like the boy in Legion, the little, the the book, the boy in the book, and I want to make like the paper mache. Oh, the hat. angriest boy in the world? Oh my god, how fucking freaky would that shit be, dude? It would be really freaky. Okay, I saw a bunch of people that were no, you'd be cosplays the devil with, with TVs eyes. on their heads. Mm, weird. What I know what it is. What is it? Saga. That's my theory. Saga. What was everything underneath it? Was it like regal looking or? No, it was pretty basic attire, but they had TVs on their heads. Okay, maybe it like wasn't Like old school box TVs that they hollowed out and wore. You get one of those big console TVs that's like as wide as your wall. Remember those <laughs> things? No one remember those things? Oh I'm my old. God. Yeah, no, I do. I remember those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or they like doubled as like a table. Yep. Well, in Saga, there's like. The nice old wood The green. robot yeah. turn knob. Yeah. Their your remote control like... as your kid. Old computer monitors are like their heads mm. in Saga. Maybe that's what it was. I, mean, that's I, all I, can think I didn't bother of. to ask because I just was like, I'm just gonna run away from you because that's maybe weird. there's some weird internet thing that I'm not there aware was of. A, a crew of people that were um, uh, Super Smash Brothers characters. Oh, that's fun. It was really good. Like, and then there was another crew that was Last of Us. It was Joel, Ellie, and three clickers. That's awesome. Are you sure it wasn't Logan? No, there was a Logan cosplay, <laughs> and there was an actual dude in a wheelchair who they made be Xavier, and he's like, this is bullshit. And it's like, why? Wheel me around, You're... fuckers. That's what I would have said. <laughs> and they had Caliban, like, and it was really well done Caliban costume. It was actually... the tallest of the group were like, we're going to do he Logan, was, he was like, and he's fucking... like, fuck. <laughs> I got to be he Caliban. Was, he was like six foot eight. He was tall as shit. Yeah. It was really good. Oh, that's it's, creepy. It's, it was... uh, it's Stephen Merchant. Was yeah, 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 yeah. he's like six eight. But it's it was a blast. It really was, and I would do it again. I just the only thing, the big complaint I had was the cost to just do anything, because there should have been no reason that That's I had why to. Why you got to six... save up for a year, man? Yeah, it's it's an outing. It's like the it's like when people go to Disney once a year. You know that's what that's what nerds do. Parking's they go to, a bitch. They too, go to though. cons. Oh, God, parking's a bitch. Well, oh, yeah. fortunately, could you get could you Uber up? You could have, but. I mean, I was just I was with my girlfriend and her parents live in Kansas City, so we just drove. It was just parking. Yeah, parking was a bitch. We probably should have Ubered. Do I want to park downtown and then call an Uber? Yeah, that's what I would have done. Well, it's, it's in downtown. Where, but it's at the convention center downtown, right? Like, yeah, right, it's right across, above the highway. Yeah, yeah, thirty-five. Uh huh. It's uh, Thirteenth Street. Yep. It's, I got I got lucky because. You know, across from the Denny's. Hastings paid That's to have it parked there. <laughs> did you really park at Denny's? Fuck okay, yeah, we did. Park at okay. Denny's is walked across. <laughs> that works. Fun fact: my girlfriend's stepdad's family is not allowed in that Denny's. Because he's racist. <laughs> no, he's black. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what? Why is he not allowed in that Denny's? I don't know. Because it wasn't anything he did. It's something his family, like it older generations of his family, sense. did. And he's not allowed in there. You and I gotta talk about places to go eat in Kansas City because I know you go up there all the time now. Love that fucking city, man. There are mm. so many good places to eat in Kansas City. I haven't been there in a long ass time. I'm telling you, well, not Kansas City, but the three of us need to go to St. Louis. St. Louis, mm, yes. And go to the what's it called? The um, vintage stock. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of those in KC too. Yeah, I know, but that one in, we don't have... in St. Louis is sick. Because they don't have shit here anymore. Oh, the one at Mid Rivers? It's two stories? Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's not awesome. even in St. Louis. That's St. Charles. Well, St. Louis. And there's one of those big badass theaters where you can go sit in the huge couch seats, like right by there. Well, Kayla and I are going D box seats for Guardians on Saturday after Free Comic Book Day. Yeah. So you can be jealous of that. We're I will get be. our lunch shook out of us. I want to go see. I'm going to go see. Oh, so, so can we go to Salt Taco before? <laughs> Dude, we're going to have like two hours, so. Yeah. Wait, where's the D box at? St. Louis? Yeah, no, uh, Goodrich 8. The oh, forum. forum. Oh, Forum? That's yeah. D-Box? Okay. Yep. So I'm going up tomorrow to buy our tickets. 
Yay! Yeah, I hope he gets Justice there early Two enough. drops next week. I know. What? Excited. Injustice Two, the game oh, no. it drops next week. Oh, it I comes didn't... out. Really? Sixteenth. Yeah, that's next week. They well, s- it's two weeks. two weeks. Yeah, two they weeks. They kind of snuck that up on us because I don't oh. remember there being a release date for it yet. Oh, I was gonna get the the super expensive nice version of it, but then I decided I don't really need all the extra characters because I'm not gonna play any of the DLC characters. I'm just waiting for them to tell me that Red Hood's going to be in it, and I'll buy it. Captain Cold is in it, and one of the premier skins is Mr. Freeze for him. Instead of making Mr. Freeze Still waiting for them to tell me that Red Hood's going to be in it, and then I'll buy it. Probably will be. Whatever. Well, they're supposed to have the largest roster of any fighting game ever. As soon as I see him on screen in that game, I will buy it. I pre-ordered it months ago, so hopefully that's still in GameStop. (laughs) It will be. It will be, yeah, because that's where my pre-order is, too. You guys get anything fun with it? I, uh, Dark Side. I, I asked Dark them. Dark Side is the DLC pre-order. Is it really? Dark Side is, yeah. Oh, thank God. Because I asked them, I was like, do we get anything special? With He's like, you most likely will. We don't know what it is yet, because this was like of September of last year. Yeah, right? I pre-ordered so, a long, so long fucking time ago. Dark Side <laughs> is the DLC you get with it. Fuck yes. Brainiac yeah. is a character in there, too, to, pl- to play as. Like mm-hmm. He's not just one of those Who? boss fights. Brainiac. Oh, good. Because he's the bad guy. That's awesome. Either they, t- either they give me Red Hood or they give me Larflees. You will not get Larflees. Which is bullshit. You might get Red Hood. Well, well they, they haven't announced all the DLC this. characters, though. They haven't announced them all yet. There's nine of them. Have they, which ones have they announced? Any? As far as I know, none. As all the ones I've seen announced are characters going to be on the roster when you get the game. Huh. Not counting the Premier skins, which is Reverse Flash, Power Girl, Grid. A character called Grid is mm. a Premier skin. I don't know Grid. for who. Probably Cyborg. Probably. Um, because Grid was a member of the... the Crime Syndicate? Yes, in Forever Evil. The Cyborg alternative? Yes. Interesting. So we got that going on. Guardians of the Galaxy comes out this week. Kale and I are going to see that. Free comic book day is this Saturday. Wonder Woman's in a month. Wonder Woman. You guys going to Slackers to wait for free comic book day to get the Iron Fist pop? We're going to the Rock We've Bottom got him on reserve, baby. Uh, rock Bottom. All we gotta do is say James, and you'll be like, "Oh yeah, two. Be like, two. But he has to see us before the doors open. Yeah, the Iron Fist pop that's like metallic and white. It's it's the um, New Avengers. New Avengers. It's gonna be. Uh, my wife hopefully doesn't listen to this because I told her I was done buying pops for a while. But liar. Sorry about you. That's happening. Yeah. The Iron Fist pop. The new Avengers Iron Fist pop is pretty badass. I've actually seen Apparently it. Apparently, there's already. also like a 75th anniversary Wonder Woman thing that they're doing. That's like in a little, as James puts it, a weed jar, and it's like in this little tube for five bucks, and it's like a special figurine for Free Comic Book Day. That's Wonder Woman 75th anniversary, so I may pick that up too. I might as well. I know because um, hopefully it will be like first in line. I doubt that, but well, I got to hold. We're gonna the get there Iron really Fist pop early. Ready. I'm bringing lawn chairs. Really? Yeah. Okay. We're going to be there like an hour and a half or two hours before it opens. That's true. Sophie's going to be with us. So we're going to have to make sure that her tablet is charged, my phone is charged, so that she can play games and read books while we're waiting in line. Well, I'll just be like the only ones there. Wait, how early are you getting there again? Opens at 10. We're probably going to be there about like 8. We're not joking with this. (laughs) Like, we're not playing around. I ain't playing. Mm Mm-mm. I mean, the great thing about Columbia is there are several comic book stores. Like, you, I'm sure Distant Planet will probably have more people because they're going to have, like, cosplayers there. They're going to have news crew and there. They're, and they're going to have creators. Oh, they are? Yeah, I remember her saying that. Yeah, Right after vaguely. she said, we don't like to promote things that are ultra-violent for no reason. Yeah, she was talking yeah, about you the... You have crossed on the shelf. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she was not a very smart woman. Oh, she was nice, though. She was nice. But I think that, I don't know. I think she's a Doctor Who nerd that opened a comic book shop. When I say nerd, I mean it in a most, like a very endearing term because I think that the nerd community has kind of embraced the word nerd as... Well, I don't know. Are, like we, are, are we more nerds or are we more geeks? Both. It's I'm fair. Like, I'll take both. it both. Both? both? Nerd both geek. Geeky nerd. And... Yeah, so there's Disney Planet, and there's Slackers. I think there's a couple Slackers in Columbia, isn't there? Or is it just there's the one. one. Just, just the one, one there downtown. So there's at least two other venues for people to go away from Rock Bottom. Yeah. So get away from my comic book shop, bastards. 
You can show up after we leave. Yeah. <laughs> then you can Let me come in and pick what I need to get, and then you guys can come in and do whatever the fuck you want to do. But I, I wonder how we have it just... set up so there isn't so much chaos. I was going to say, yeah, because the way that shop, that shop is, it's, it's, it's tiny. It's small, it's, so it's, I'm it's wondering how you would do it. We may discuss and figure out a different way to do this. Like, you and I go up, and then we can come back and get so. I don't mind driving up twice to go see Guardians and D-Box. Okay. So that way she doesn't, because Amanda's plans have fallen through for her birthday. But anyway. Oh, that's hard. So that's a little bit too much personal information on a podcast, man. Well, it's Keep you. on reading all these forum things that are like, I don't like it when people talk about their lives. We're, we're not a true crime podcast. You bastards. You just don't like true crime at all, do you? No, not really. Anyway, <laughs> if you guys want to donate to us, uh, please send uh, checks, P.O. Box. No, I'm just kidding, but... We are discussing uh, a proper mic setup. Oh, um, yeah. It's like, people can send us money now? Oh, like, no. That's a thing. <laughs> <It's> Patreon. <laughs> I know, Patre- we set up a Patreon account. Just for them. <laughs> Our 14 listeners send us money. Um, no, but uh, thank you for joining us on this Tuesday episode of the Comic Boot Podcast. Um, do you want to do it? You want to do it. Um, if you are on Netflix and you have no idea what to watch... Check out Streamer's Guide to the Galaxy. That will give you a very nice, spoiler-free, usually spoiler-free, uh, rundown of TV shows. So if you if you're not sure if you want to donate like an hour or so to this, you know, just listen for what 12, 15 minutes, give or take, and see what you think. That's their newest one right there. Girl Meets World yeah. is their latest episode. Which, and, I've actually been curious about that because Boy Meets World is part of my childhood. So. I've watched pretty much all of Girl Meets World because my daughter is 10. <laughs> um, well, I've heard it's actually pretty good. It actually is really good. Um, yeah, Lauren and Devin, they go over Girl Meets World. They're really cool, really nice, really funny. If you like uh, hearing they us riff... like it. <laughs> <laughs> if you like hearing us riff about stuff, then you'll love these guys. So definitely check out their podcast. And again, that is Streamer's Guide to the Galaxy. Devin and Lauren. Anyway, thank you for joining us. Uh, please go to iTunes, leave us a rating, uh, leave us a review, give us some constructive criticism feedback. Keep in mind that we're working on it, man. This is a very bare-bones uh, establishment as we are literally sitting on couches in my basement surrounding a laptop with a xbox mic <laughs> it's working it <laughs> does work we make it work uh, yeah but it's it's bare bones man we macgyvered we're not, we're not thousands of we don't have thousands of dollars to invest at this point in time but or if you do 100. listen to this yeah well if you do listen to this thank you so much and please do us a favor leave us uh drop us a line um give us a comment give us some suggestions you know what do you guys want to hear because this we want this to be you know, open to the public. Yeah, open and to suggestions. Driven by you guys too. So, and requests of like books we should read or things we should watch. And, and now that the summer's coming it. up, James will have more free time. Super bored because I'm gonna blow through my backlog of comics and be sitting here going, "What do I do now?" It's time to. Uh, turn I could up watch that... Legion again, or not. You can turn up that Netflix queue. Add some stuff to it yeah listen to streamers guide and well uh, figure out what to watch. supergirl season two flash season three and i believe arrow season five will all be on netflix sometime at the towards the end of may watch them as they were going on <laughs> yeah. i missed out on a few episodes and they got deleted so now i have to wait oh well it'll be towards the end of may because i think their final episodes mm. all are like may 20 something that's fine because well, I'd, much, I'd much rather watch and... them well i think that's consecutively this episode, without maybe. commercials it's anyway. the final finale though of what flash because i think didn't guardians flash. already guardians already final legends legends that's what i meant legends legends has been over with for like the past couple weeks yeah but anyway thank you again for joining us at the comic boot podcast uh Special thanks to Mayher and, of course, Rock Bottom Comics, which we've mentioned a hundred times. Um, if Mayher does go away, just pray that he can get back from Tunisia after next semester, because he's going to probably be studying abroad. Little nerd. What's her name? <laughs> ah. Anyway, signing out, I'm James. I'm Kalen. And I'm Cody. And we will see you guys on Thursday, where we talk about Legion. Doom Patrol, the television show.